Welcome all to the Planning Board meeting, November 17th. Uh, my name is Beth Richardson. I'll be chairing this evening's meeting because our chair is at the Spelling Bee. Other important event for tonight. First on our agenda are our minutes from the previous meeting. Do we have any? We have a move, move, motion to accept. Do I hear a second? Second from Liza. Any questions, comments before we vote? No? All those in favor? None opposed? Okay, minutes carry. We have two items. I didn't talk about Oh, I'm sorry, Barbara did. We have two items this evening on, the, on a consent agenda. The first is the Fort Williams Arboretum Site Plan. Town of Cape Elizabeth is requesting a one-year extension to the previously approved site plan for an arboretum at Fort Williams Park, located on Shore Road. Do we need a presentation? No. 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 Questions. Are there any questions on this for the applicant before we vote? It's a consent agenda, so there's no need for discussion or no need for a presentation. Do I hear a motion? Barbara? Motion for the board to consider be it ordered that based on the plans and materials previously submitted and the facts presented, the request of the town of Cape Elizabeth for a one year extension of the site plan approval for the Arboretum at Fort Williams be approved with an extension to November 17th, 2010. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Second by Tom Dolan. Any comments or questions before we move ahead? No? All those in favor? None opposed? Thank you. Motion carries. Second item on our consent agenda this evening is for the Paputa Club site plan. The Paputa Club is requesting an amendment to the previously approved site plan for 300 Spurwink Avenue to add a parking lot. Do we have any Questions for the applicant before we move ahead? None? Do I hear a motion, please? I'd make a motion. A motion for the board to consider be it ordered that based on the plans and materials submitted and the facts presented, the application of the Perputa Club located at 300 Spurwink Avenue to amend the previous site plan approval to add an overflow parking lot to an area used for staging be approved as a consent agenda item. Second. We have a motion, we have second. Comments, questions, discussion? No? All those in favor, please? None opposed? Well done, Craig. Movement motion carries. <laughs> All right. New business. Cape Cafe site plan. James Wagner, Dr. Samir Haidar, and David Leopold are requesting site plan review for a 60-seat, 2,294 square foot cafe in the Pond Cove Shopping Center located at 327 Ocean House Road. Uh, they are in front of us this evening to discuss site plan completeness. The applicant, if you could introduce yourself with your name and address and then introduce the project, please. Good evening. It's nice to be back before the planning board. James Wagner for the Cape Cafe, for lack of a better name at this point. Um, as we discussed at the workshop last month, our concept is to uh, open a cafe and wine bar in the Pond Cove Shopping Center, and the space just to the right of the CVS. Uh, 2,294 square feet. Um, we've timely submitted our site plan application, um, and we request that this, the application be deemed complete at this point. Um, having reviewed the memorandum by the town planner, she raised two possible incomplete items, uh, one regarding parking and one regarding signage location. Uh, I'll address those two points if you'd like to at this point. Um, the town planner also submitted that, an additional memorandum relating to the parking of the plaza. Uh, the applicants agreed with the town planner's uh, analysis and requested the board accept the town planner's memorandum in lieu of requesting an additional uh, supplemental parking evaluation. Uh, I think the board 
would agree with the landlord, the applicant, and the town planner that there's adequate parking at the plaza for the needs of our project as well as the other tenants. Uh, with regards to the location of lighting, I, uh, I contacted the town plan planner this morning regarding that issue, and I believe that you probably all have a, a copy of this with your site plan, which is the, mm -hmm. the lighting for the front elevation of the project. And as I conveyed to the town planner, uh, we discussed this this morning with our designer, uh, Brewster Butfield of Prospect Design. And there are five locations for the lighting, uh, one on either side of the, of the sign. I don't have a full ball on here, but mm -hmm. there's you know, what he describes as new shielded lights on the side, one on the left hand side of the sign, one on the right hand side of the sign. There's uh, down lights over the door, which would be right at the entrance to the door, uh, something flush with the, uh, the entrance mm -hmm. right over the door. And then on either side, the left hand side, and the right hand side of the, the windows. There would be a long acrylic panel. There would be a low light illumination with LEDs. Now, the lights that are that are on here that are noted as new shielded lights on facade, are they lights? I, I see the drawing. Are they lights that come down and shine on the sign? Is yeah. that the idea? That's right. I couldn't quite tell from the drawing. I'm not sure if we included with the application. I think I. They're all from the Yeah, I think there might have been some spec drawings that we included. Yeah. 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 This. this is what is. No, but there are also these. This is the yes. So, some actual, uh, I think it was the actual spec sheet for the, the light itself. Yep. Um, and if there are, are no compelling uh, needs or desire on behalf of the, of the, the planning board or the town, uh, we have requested, uh, if not necessary, that there be no public hearing held, uh, and that we be permitted to proceed with our business before the town council. Any questions, I'm happy to address them. Any questions for the applicant? Well, I had a question that wasn't the one of completeness, but um, it's really an issue of um, access yeah. for suppliers. I went to the site and I looked at the parking lot in the back and um, I just had um, some questions given in the patio build out. Right. Where were the supplies going to come in? And um, I guess I just want to ensure that there's not going to be a lot of traffic in front of the cafe. Right. And that most of it will go around, there'll be enough access yeah, that, uh, back there. And there were some propane tanks that weren't on the drawings and it seemed quite constrained back there. Yeah, when we went and looked at the back, I think there's, there's two dumpsters right now, and we would have to add a third, which I think I included on the site plan. Yeah. Um, there's also a, kind of a big storage unit back there right now, which I've asked yeah. the landlord about whether or not that's a permanent or temporary. Yeah. I don't have a, a, an answer for you yet on that. Right. Um, but it is our intent to have the deliveries be to the back door, mm -hmm. with the possible exception of if it's really early in the morning, like with standard bakery, when they're delivering to the IGA, you know, before we even open, right. and before there's any traffic at all at the plaza, that we could have them delivered to our front door. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there, there were, I forgot about that storage unit. It was large. It yeah, was, it is large. A lot of space. Yeah. yeah. But I'll, I'll be happy to follow up with you on that. Okay. Or maybe we could discuss it in a site walk. Mm. Any other questions, Tom? I have a motion for the board to consider. Thank you. <clears throat> Be in order that based on the plans and materials submitted and the facts presented, the application of James Wagner, Dr. Samir Hadar, and David Leopold for site plan review for a change of use of an existing space in the Pond Cove Shopping Center located at 327 Ocean House Road to restaurant for the Cape Cafe Wine Bar be deemed complete. We have a motion. Do we have a second, please? Second. Second from Barbara Schenkel. Any discussion on the motion? No? Nope. Okay. All those in favor, please? None opposed? Passes for completeness. 
Thank you. And we you need a site visit. Uh, site visit and public hearing. I think. Or... I don't need a site visit. Yeah. Site visit. Well, I'm going to go look at the back because of some of the, you know, some of the thing. The one thing, and I think you didn't bring up something. Did, did you? Um, the patio itself. Are there? Is there going to be a problem because of the propane tents? I haven't seen the back. I don't know if I need a site walk or I just need to go see it. Mm -hmm. uh, not that I know of. I'm not even sure of the location of the propane tanks. Is that directly behind? Well, it's on the plan. There were several propane tanks back there for other businesses, and I was thinking you, you might, the Cape Cafe may indeed need some too, and then the, um, the enclosed play area of the daycare, the daycare that used to be there, the former daycare. Right isn't on there. Um, anyway, it's, uh, so I, I don't think the drawings are accurate. Um, that's not something that we're weighing as a measure of completeness. Mm -hmm. um, uh, with, with regards to the propane tanks, the, if we have a back patio, it will be fenced so there will be no access to the propane tanks. So if there's any children or adults that they, they couldn't interact with the propane tanks, so that I wouldn't be concerned other than possibly uh, delivery traffic having some interaction with the propane tanks. If you're concerned about yeah. safety, maybe a vehicle running into it or a person. Um, well, my first concern was that um, I didn't think the drawings were accurate because they didn't show the tanks and that storage unit. Um, and, and I don't think it's a safety issue, but just the proximity of the existing dumpsters to where diners may be. But I, that's not, I, I don't think that's within our purview. Um, but. Um, and they are on the <laughs> um, But, uh, yeah, I just thought it was something that we should think through the traffic flow at the site, um, given um, your comments about the daycare being next door and wanting to attract a lot of children. Um, okay. Just something that, it's, that we should give some thought to. Maureen, there's a question mark under the daycare. Is the daycare going in there? Is that a question mark? Is it there? That was the, that, the, that's from the plan submitted by the applicant. I, I put a question mark there because the landlord had informed me that they possibly, whether they had a letter of intent signed, there was a letter of intent that was out there circulating. I don't know if it's been signed for a daycare. OK. So we're not sure there is a daycare going in there. Regardless of whether or not there is a daycare going in there, there is an existing play area behind the space that was used as a daycare that yep. isn't shown on that plan. Yep. Well, I, for one, would like to go and look at the back. I don't need a site walk, but I need to go and, and look at it. Is that something that uh, you'd like us to accompany you with? Or? Well, if we're going to have, I mean, if, if if everybody is interested in seeing it, we should probably schedule a site walk. And if somebody can't make it, then that's fine, or doesn't feel they need it. That's my feeling, anyway. What do you think? Schedule a site walk. Liza, are you interested in um, doing that? Yeah, I'd go. I'd the go, applicant. I would go. Yeah, I would be interested in going again if others were. Tom, you don't have any? I'm neutral, frankly. I, I don't feel a need to have to go see it. But if others want to, I don't have any objection to doing so. That's if you want to see it, it is better if you all go together. Right. That's what I was thinking. Why don't we schedule a site walk then? And we can let the other members know. Okay. Um, Maybe we can do that now. I'm just, excuse me? You usually schedule your site walks at the meeting so the public right. knows. We'll do it okay. now. Um, I just think that given that the, the plans aren't accurate, it would be a good idea. Well, I guess two things come to mind. We, we should schedule a site walk so we go together and so the public has an opportunity to, to attend if they choose to. But in terms of the plans not being accurate, I guess we would mention that to you so that um, you have a chance to make changes if you feel the need based on some of the feedback that you've had tonight. Okay. Uh, let me just ask for a point of clarification. If, if we just voted on the completeness of the application, uh, need I supplement the site plan at this point, uh, other than for... When the board makes a determination of completeness, it doesn't mean that they're satisfactory. It just means that sufficient information has been provided to begin the review. 
So most applicants, when the board asks for changes to be made to the plans, try to accommodate those requests. Certainly. But it's, I mean, if, if you don't want to make those changes, now's the time to have that discussion. No, I, <laughs> I have no problem whatsoever adding propane tanks on the back of the area doing the sidewalk. I'm happy to do that. I just wanted to know whether or not that was necessary. If you'd like that, I'm happy to do it. It seems to me that it's... I would like preference. I would like to see the members. patio next door added in, and the storage unit, okay. and the various propane tanks, mm -hmm. other semi-permanent uh, structures that are on the site. Okay. Sort of the dumpster equivalent. <laughs> right. Other structures, yeah. Okay. Uh, timing. I'll Available to other people because I'm more flexible. Than Friday. I don't teach on Friday, so I've got Fridays wide open. If that's good for anybody else. Can do it in the morning or early afternoon. Uh, I'll be gone um, all next week for Thanksgiving week. Okay. Well, school looking school. this this Friday. This uh, this Friday I'll be there. This coming? Will yeah. you be around this Friday? Yeah, I okay. could do it this Friday. Barbara, can you do it this Friday? I can. I, I have to be somewhere else at ten. Can we do early afternoon? Yep. What's well, best for you, Liza? You've got children, so. Yeah. Um, before one thirty, or until one thirty. Before so one. One. Yep. Barbara, one. Fine. Mr. Wagner, one. Is that yeah, at least one? One of our group will be available one, for you. One. Of, one of you will be yeah. there. Okay. Okay. So site walk, one o'clock, November twentieth. And while we're doing a site walk in the back, would you like also like to go inside? I don't. Would you also like to go, go inside? inside, or just the outside? Sure. I'd love to see the inside. <laughs> So you want to meet in the back? Should we meet in the back or meet? Well, we could, we could meet in the front. Why don't we meet in the front, um, in front of the location, 327 Ocean House Road. And it's the space facing CVS just to the right. Is that correct? That's correct. OK. 1 o'clock, November 20th, Friday, the sidewalk. OK. Now, I believe we need to, we need to uh, consider a public hearing. My preference is to have one, Liza. Yep. You know, we're going to have another meeting about it anyway, so we might as well have a public hearing. Absolutely. And then if anybody wants to say anything, they can. And if nobody wants to say anything, then they don't have to. nobody's going to come up and speak. So it's fine. And how far in the future is the public hearing? It'll be, this, it'll be the third Tuesday, and it's December 15th. Could I um, hear a motion, please, for the public hearing? Make a motion. Tom? A motion for the board to consider, be it further ordered, that the above app application be tabled to the December 15, 2009 meeting of the planning board, at which time a public hearing will be held. Thank you. Second. Barbara, second. Any other discussion? Yeah, I, I would like to say one thing, just please. so that you understand. The night that there's a public hearing, we can make a decision on everything. You so it, and you don't have to feel like, you, oh my goodness, we're going to be coming back in January and February, just so that you know. That's, I mean, in a case like this, maybe nobody's going to come and speak. You anticipated my question. Yeah. Well, I saw the look on your face <laughs> and, and realized that you didn't, you know, it's not a familiar process. But when it comes back again, we can make the final decision that night. Fantastic. So mm -hmm. as long as you work closely with Maureen, and make sure that all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. So. Certainly. Any other comments, questions, discussion? No? All those in favor, please? Motion carries. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. I believe we are done with the agenda. Is that correct? Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Thank you. Second from Liza. All those in favor to adjourn? Thank you.